I'm like camera shy though. You're the one who put on camera, camera shy. Yeah. Hi everybody, it's Starry and in this video I'm going to talk about why we chose to buy secondhand clothes for our baby. I received a lot of stress from family members who who want to buy the baby new stuff, new clothes. You know, taking me shopping to all these places and it's stressful even though I say, you know, I want secondhand clothes. Uh, there's still a lot of pressure and so that's why I decided to make this video to talk about why I chose why I want to to buy secondhand clothes for our baby so first um, I think that we it's common kind of common knowledge that we know that um, when it comes to making clothes it's just very unethical there's a lot of practices that occur you know child labor um, un unhealthy, unhumane working um, environments. Um, there's a lot of chemicals involved in the process, a lot of pollution involved in the process. So just when it comes to clothes in general, it's already um, an industry where there's a lot of um, negative things that actually harm us, harm other people, harm nature, harm um, the earth. So that was obviously the first thing why I want a second hand. The other reason why is because... Yeah, you calm down. You're rushing. Well, okay, well... So what are you saying about the industry? <clears throat> I'm just saying that, the, you know, the clothing industry is really bad. Are you wearing clothes right now? I am wearing clothes. Yeah. Yeah. So what's your point? I'm saying, so why can't the baby wear clothes just like you're wearing clothes? Well, okay. A lot of the clothes I have now, it's stuff that was either gifted to me or secondhand stuff. And I've actually given away most of my clothing to donate it and things like that. So I am wearing clothes, but I actually stopped buying clothes. Yeah. And I only think about like, what do I need? If I need something and I have to buy it brand new, it's out of necessity rather than like a want or like a fashion thing. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> like this this cloth is from my sister she bought it bought it for me as a gift birthday gift this is like years old that i got when i went to paris so it's like i don't really have new stuff and i just keep wearing the same stuff but anyways the next reason why i wanted to buy secondhand clothes is because well Babies grow so fast, and it just doesn't really make sense to buy them new clothes if they're just going to grow out of it. Like the first um, size is like zero to three months. So basically, you would be buying all this new stuff just for three months of their life, you know? So it's like baby stuff is expensive, and, and they it's so small. The clothes are so small, and you're paying a lot for this small piece of cloth. And it's not going to last more than three months. And what happens after those three months is either you're going to throw it away, you're going to give it to a thrift shop, or you could pr try and sell it. But you can't even make that much money from selling baby clothes. So so, so why can't I just buy <clears throat> new baby clothes for then three months, you know, have the baby celebrate its birthday for three months and then give to a thrift shop, you know? What's, what's wrong with that? You're saying that buying the clothes is a celebration yeah. for the baby? Yeah, you see, you said, why would you buy something for three months? And I'm thinking maybe, you you know, like a wedding, you buy something just for like that day. Like one dress for that day. So what if you're buying this three months, then just for the three months? The baby only gets But then there's three another, months there's once. another three months next, like from like three to six months is another, is the next um, sizing range. Okay. So then you would have to buy again new stuff for the other three months. It's like... It doesn't make sense to keep doing that. And the baby keeps growing and growing. And then what are you going to do with those clothes? What do you, you know say? What I mean? You throw it away? You throw it away. You give it to a thrift shop. A thrift shop yeah. Or you can try and sell it. But who's really out there looking to buy baby clothes? You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, it's, I don't know. I'd rather, I don't know. I just feel like you're going to end up going to a thrift shop anyway with these baby clothes, right? If you were conscious person you want to do the right thing you buy them new and then you gonna give them to a thrift shop or 
I guess you could give it to a friend if you know someone who's pregnant or something like that. But ultimately, it, it's going to become secondhand anyways. It's going to be from the moment your baby wears those clothes, it's now secondhand clothing. And so it's already going to end up in that cycle already of being secondhand. So you're trying to reduce the cycle of secondhandness by buying a secondhand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It just doesn't make sense to get a new one. Okay. Yeah. What, you disagree? No, I'm just asking. You're just asking? If you know. People want to buy new clothes for their kid. What's wrong with that? I think like, okay. You seem to be saying that, you know, because clothes are bad. I think that if there's a special outfit, special event, I know there's some cultural or religious practices like um, the christening of the baby or naming ceremonies, or maybe it's like when the baby's first born, you know, I, I think it's okay to have a special outfit for the baby. But when it comes to like buying new clothes... Like, you don't need to buy new clothes for a baby because it's not going to last. And they're just going to need more new clothes after that. So it's like, why why do that when you know you're just contributing to the cycle of polluting the earth? You know, it's a cycle of, you know, these unethical companies that are having these, you know, child labor and all these things. You know, I mean, what about secondhand stuff? They say secondhand stuff looks worn out. I don't want my baby to be looking like they weren't. What, uh, torn clothes and torn, stuff like, like that. Like used clothes? Yeah. Well, like, okay, like, so... Like, you know, like, the shine of it, the new clothes shine is gone. Oh, yeah, like, people want something to look brand new and, like, second like, oh, it's torn, it's used, it's stained. But, actually, a lot of those clothes I got, if you check out my other videos, I actually wash them. There's a certain way you can wash them to make them look almost, if not brand new, and you can pick and choose what clothes that you want to get from the thrift shop. Not all clothes are like that. I'd say the majority of the clothes I've seen, and I've gone to a lot of different thrift shops, that they look very good. Like, there's no stains. There's nothing on there. A lot of these um, secondhand clothing stores, they actually look through this stuff before they put it in their shop. They're actually picking and choosing, hey, is this actually worth putting in our, um, our thrift shop? If not, they get rid of it. So a lot of the times the quality is already good. It's it's at, it's at average or it's very good. So I'm saying you go to these shops and you pick what you want, what you think is good quality, and then you go and wash it. And by the time that you wash it, it looks brand new. And I'm not even kidding you because I actually videotaped the whole process of how you can wash it and how you can um, do it in a way where it comes out and it's like you just got it from Target. So I, I would disagree with the people who say that because that's not my personal experience. Okay, so you make it look brand new. Yeah, but also, I guess, can. you know, three months, three how, months, how dirty can you make it? Yeah, how dirty can you make clothes in three months? You know, how it's not much in three months that a baby, especially a newborn, is just going to do like diaper stuff. <laughs> it's not really going to be going outside, doing this, rolling around. It's like, okay, so in that case, you would just look for what's clean. And then you just buy what you think is good quality. Yeah. <laughs> what else? I think those are the main, the mo the, really the main points, you know, of why I chose to. Do you have anything to add? No. No. I think those are, it just doesn't make sense. And it, it makes me sad that people pressurize me. So buy new stuff when that's something that's totally against my beliefs and I think it's just America the American culture is to buy stuff and consumerism buy and buy. like we still buy new iPhones and oh like every year a new iPhone one. yeah <laughs> we're still buying chocolate and the kids are still being the chocolate in the Africa is yeah, the child labor child labor yeah and, and we still throw away the, we know, throw away a lot like, of I'm stuff. pretty sure people throw away chocolate and not think oh hey child labor you know yeah so I feel like in America it's just we it's don't just buy the American culture yeah we don't consciously buy it to be like I don't think anyone's buying the child clothes thinking like, hey, No you know one's what? thinking about that when they buy clothes at uh, all. We're going to just throw it away or give it to a thrift shop. They kind of yeah. think, you know, maybe the mom will keep it and show it to the kid, you know. Maybe show the kid, these are your baby clothes. I don't know. <laughs> do that. I don't have no baby clothes. My mom saves some of my baby clothes. I think special little outfits. See? So that's why. So, yeah, the there is some culture. Save in there. Where, but I think ultimately it's not worth, you know, it's not really worth it. It's... I think it does more harm than good. 
and it it really hurts being pressured. When you tell people this, you say, "Hey, I don't want mm -hmm. you." stuff so you know you're the bad person i am the, the bad person they think that i like want my baby to wear trash like that's the kind of perception that i've gotten from some family members they're like oh no you have to have new stuff for the baby i'm like but i don't want new stuff for the baby i was like i want my baby to know from when it was born it was already contributing to making the world a better place it was already conscious and i'm um, thinking about other people in um, other places, maybe, you know, in Asia, they have a lot of factories, Taiwan, China, like making, you know, these clothes and they're not in good working condition. So I'm like, I think that the baby would appreciate it more, you know, it knowing that before it was born, we're thinking like, hey, we want this baby to be, you know, um, loving, empathetic, considerate, care about the earth. Like these things matter to me more than clothes. And I think you know, if we all kind of thought more like this, the world might be a nicer place. Who knows? <laughs> you see, like, the recycling people, if everybody recycled, then the world would be... <laughs> I, oh, okay. Recycling is good, but I feel like... That's a whole other topic, but I feel like that's, like... We shouldn't be in a place where we have to recycle. Like, we should be thinking sustainable practices where we, there's no plastic at all. But that's a whole other conversation. Okay. So you are you are not recycling these clothes. You are... Uh, I, I am re-gifting these clothes. Oh, okay. That, and, okay, so for me, too, I just have this, like, idea that, hey, second have, secondhand clothes can have, like, some energy. Like, it's like another baby wore it. Maybe there's some, you know, good vibes or it already has a story connected to the clothes. Maybe a happier story than, like, someone in Asia working in this factory with like all these chemicals and like maybe that kid had a happy the, the, the fresh new clothes carry with it the stain of <laughs> yeah the, the fresh clothes have a the, stain the child labor is yes the fresh clothes they're stained with um you know a lot of a lot of um, you negative energy you're washing your washing trick for your you can't second hand <laughs> You're washing my washing so for take away the negative stuff. energy you can use it for the new clothes the new clothes take yeah with that you can, you can. You create your own story. Yeah. The baby creates its own story in those clothes. But I just agree the only thing that, you know, there's trash that everything ends up being trash. Everything oh yeah. Just enjoyed, but for three yeah. months you know, imagine if our iPhones were just three months and then we got And a, then throw it away and get a new one. You know, yeah. we might do it just for the fun of it, but it might not be ethical for some time, you know. It's just Yeah. I guess so with that yeah, I can feel however I want to like spiritually or whatever, but when it comes down to the facts it's like, it just, to me, it still doesn't make sense. You know, the such a short period, the three months, like you were saying, and it just becomes trash or it ends up in the thrift shop anyways. So, yeah, it just doesn't make sense. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section. Um, are you buying new clothes or secondhand clothes for your baby? Um, are you experiencing pressure to buy everything new for your baby? I know sometimes new stuff is like, oh, you want to get the baby the very best. And we have this idea that, hey, the very best has to be brand new, you know. But it's not necessarily the case. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to know how you guys feel. And drop me a comment below. Make sure to subscribe and check out my other videos if you want to learn how to clean those secondhand baby clothes to make them sparkling brand new. So it looks like they just came out of Target. Anyways, fam, I love you guys. Peace, love, and happiness.